Discover the beauty of the Philippines. With Philippine Airlines, the country's flag carrier. The airline that lets you feel the warmth of the nation. Mabuhay. Usaka pagtuo. Usaka tingog. Usaka katawhan. Cebu Catholic Television Network. Network. This live coverage of the Holy Mass is brought to you by. Mr. and Mrs. Nicolas Padillo and family. Mr. and Mrs. Alfred and Julie Ko and family. Dr. Jean Rafanan and family. Mr. and Mrs. Rene and Nanit Avila and family. Mr. and Mrs. Lorenzo Bok and family.
trust in His ways. In this, our Eucharistic celebration today, we include in our prayers uh, thanksgiving for the gift of life of our dear brother, Monsignor John Thomas, John John Limchua. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Dear sisters and brothers, let us now acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest.
let us pray. God of might, giver of every good gift, put into our hearts the love of your name, so that by deepening our sense of reverence, you may nurture in us what is good, and by your watchful care, keep us, keep safe what you have nurtured. To our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. You duped me, O Lord, and I let myself be duped. You were too strong for me, and you triumphed. All the day, I am an object of laughter. Everyone mocks me. Whenever I speak, I must cry out. Violence and outrage is my message. The word of the Lord has brought me derision and reproach all the day. I say to myself, I will not mention him. I will speak in his name no more. But then it becomes like fire burning in my heart, imprisoned in my bones. I grow weary holding it in. I cannot endure it. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. I gazed toward you in the sanctuary to see your power and your glory. For your kindness is a greater good than life. My lips shall glorify you. Exalted lips, my mouth shall. 
reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. I urge you, brothers and sisters, by the mercies of God, to offer your bodies as a living sacrifice, to holy and pleasing to God, your spiritual worship. Do not conform yourselves to this age, but be transformed by the renewal of your mind, that you may discern what is the will of God, what is good and pleasing and perfect. The word of the Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus began to show his disciples that he must go to Jerusalem and suffer greatly from the elders, the chief priests, and the scribes, and be killed, and on the third day be raised. Then Peter took Jesus aside and began to rebuke him. God forbid, Lord, no such thing shall ever happen to you. He turned and said to Peter, Get behind me, you Satan. You are an obstacle to me. You are thinking not as God does, but as human beings do. Then Jesus said to his disciples, Whoever wishes to come after me must deny himself, take up his cross, and follow me. For whoever wishes to save his life will lose it, but whoever loses his life for my sake will find it. What profit would there be for one to gain the whole world and forfeit his life? Or what can one give in exchange for his life? For the Son of Man will come with his angels in his Father's glory, and then he will repay all according to his conduct. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Blessed Sunday to all. Let us take into perspective and we always put this in context that our gospel reading today is what happened right after Peter proclaimed that Jesus is the Christ, the Messiah, the Son of God. And if we recall a little bit of the reflection last Sunday, it is not that Peter was just the only one who knew about who Jesus was. Although we have to take into perspective nga ang it is given to you from above. But we cannot deny or discredit that even before Jesus asked his disciples, the disciples on the boat, when the boat was about to sink and Jesus was walking on the water, after that episode, the disciples said to the Lord, to the Lord Jesus, you are indeed the Son of God. So the individual apostles already have an idea or have an inkling about who Jesus was. So here we have a focus on Peter. And so when Jesus told something or predicted for the first time, there are three predictions of the Lord about his passion, death, and resurrection. Passion, death, and resurrection. And he said the first prediction. And Peter reacted. God forbid, Lord. No? Okay, we have a very beautiful translation to this. Simbako in town, ginoo. No? No? And, and Peter was actually trying to hold on to what he had proclaimed earlier. No, nga, nakabalugod siya. So, di siya gusto nga si Jesus mag-antos. Nga naman, 
Because what Peter understood, be it, Jesus being a Messiah, is a triumphant one. No, mo na gi paabot sa kadaghanan. But Jesus would like to emphasize on what kind of Messiah is he? A suffering Messiah. And so, he rebuke. Now, rebuke is not a very strong word. Uh, not so much. But in the original text, it actually means he remonstrated Jesus. In other words, he was exorcising the Lord. No? Imagine, si Pedro iyang gi-exorcise ang ginoo, kay aron ma, wala ang dautang, hunahuna o dautang ispiritu. But in turn, what happened? He was exorcised by the Lord. No? So, the expression, get behind me, you Satan, is I think the most appropriate one. Because it is not what we usually hear as translated before, get out of my sight, you Satan. Kay, if get out of my sight, luoy kay Pedro, wala na Pedro sa sunod nga episode. But there are two important points here. Get behind me was addressed to Peter as a disciple. Nga man, ang disipulo, magsunod ramang yun sa magtutudlo. But the expression, you Satan, not with a capital S, by the way, but Satan in Hebrew is actually an expression or a word referring to an obstacle to the will of God. No? So, kung dako na gani nga S, muna na si ang demonyo, muna na si taning. But anybody can be a Satan. No? Bisan gani sa ato ang ordinaryo siguro nga pagpuyo, kung daghang mubabag sa mga maayo na itong uh, mga tinguha, sa maayo na itong mga buhaton, di ba, namang gani mo ingon da nga, sa taning mangang dako, no? di ba, the obstacles. And this is what we have to understand in the context. But then, providing us with so many uh, different perspectives sa itong pagtuo, it is one way to always understand that once we know and learn about the Lord Jesus in our lives, as we have to confess, not just because many people say that Jesus is the Lord, but because we have a personal conviction of who He is, dili na ito ni Himuon nga o pahimugatan, nga dili na lang sadta, mo increase sa atong pagtuon o pagila kaniya. Daghan kayong mga tao nga, abi kayo na ka-eskoyla, taas na o na-eskoyla, di na mamati, dili na bukas, dili na abri sa ilang kaugalingon, sa daghan pa nga mga developments diha sa pagtuo. Muna nga, nindot kayo ni nga pamalandungan because if we do that, we will be blocking others. And take note, the first demand of discipleship that Jesus said following the remonstration is, whoever wishes to come after me must deny himself. Now, dili ibutang ang kaugalingon sa unahan kung dili magsunod because even Jesus himself denied the essence or the meaning of what Messiah was according to the many people during his time. And so this is what we have to take into perspective. Ang pagka mapaobsanon o ang kinaiya na andam kita na makatun sa dugang o mga malawumpa nga mga pagtulunan o dili nato Himuon nga rason nga maayong laki na ko, maayong tao na ko, na dili na tamamati sa pagtulunan pa na umaabot o sa mga daghan pa ng mga importante na atong makatunan. Amen. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages. God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For as men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven. And by the Holy Spirit, 
was incarnate, the Virgin Mary, and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven, and he seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Dear sisters and brothers, as we now make our prayer for our community and for the world, trusting the providence of God and in the way we express our faith, let us all pray to Christ the Lord, the Messiah, not only for ourselves and our own needs, but also for the entire people of God. And we say, Lord, help us, help follow us to follow you. That the lifestyle of the church as the community of Jesus' disciples may be characterized by constant faithfulness to the gospel principles. Let us pray. Lord, Lord help, help us, us follow, to you. follow you. That the Holy Father, our bishop, priests, and all other spiritual leaders may be strengthened by God's grace as they bravely strive to follow the example of Jesus in all they do. Let us pray. Lord, Lord help, help us follow, follow you. you. That all those who suffer physically and emotionally may learn to carry their crosses in union with Jesus and thereby transform them into instruments of redemption. Let us pray. Lord, Lord help, help us follow, follow your will. That all those who have been victimized by the coronavirus may endure their suffering with patience and faith Thanks also to the help of the generous frontliners. Let us pray. Lord, Lord help, help us, us to follow you. you. That all of us may learn to live with our hearts, set on the values of God's kingdom, and not on those of the materialistic and hedonistic world. Let us pray. Lord, Lord help, help us, us to follow you. you. Incline your merciful ear to our prayers, we ask, O Lord, and listen in kindness to the supplications of those who call on you. We ask this in the same Christ, our Lord. Amen. 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 Pray, dear sisters and brothers, that your sacrifice and mine may be acceptable to God, the Father Almighty. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. May this sacred offering, O Lord, confer on us always the blessing of salvation. 
that what it celebrates in mystery, it may accomplish in power through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for in you we live and move and have our being. And while in this body, we not only experience the daily effects of your care, but even now possess the pledge of life eternal. For having received the first fruits of the Spirit, through whom you raised up Jesus from the dead, we hope for an everlasting share in the Paschal mystery. And so with all the angels we praise you, as in joyful celebration we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of us, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna. Indeed, holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my heart blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. 
humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, with Midifil, his assistant Bishop, all bishops and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, O glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus the Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with yours. Let us now share with each other the sign of peace. Shalom.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. O oh my God, my only hope, I have placed all my trust in you, and I know I shall not be disappointed. Let us pray. Renewed by this bread from the heavenly table, we beseech you, o Lord, that being the food of charity, it may confirm our hearts and stir us to serve you in our neighbor. Through Christ our Lord. God, our Father, we come to you in our need to ask your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and even claimed lives. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. Protect the medical experts that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health soon. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. We implore you to stop the spread of this virus and to save us from all our fears. Grant all this to our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God, do not despise our petitions in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin, Amen. Signor Santonino, Our Lady of Guadalupe, 
Our Lady Health of the Sick, St. Raphael the Archangel, San Roque, San Lorenzo Ruiz, San Pedro Calungsod. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Now bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. Be gracious to your people, O Lord, and do not withhold consolation on earth from those you call to strive for heaven through Christ our Lord. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Holy Eucharist has been offered. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. Till the end of my day, so oh Lord, I will bless your name. Sing your praise, give your thanks for my day. This live coverage of the Holy Mass is brought to you by. Mr. and Mrs. Nicolas Padillo and family. Mr. and Mrs. Alfred and Julie Ko and family. Dr. Jean Rafanan and family. Mr. and Mrs. Rene and Nanit Avila and family. Mr. and Mrs. Lorenzo Bok and family. Discover the beauty of the Philippines. With Philippine Airlines, the country's flag carrier. The airline that lets you feel the warmth of the nation. Mabuhay. Tinuod ba nga si Kristo misaka sa langit, lawas o kalag? Mga Iksol, kasama ka na ko, binuha at samahan, tinubos ni Kristo, kuluyanan sa Espiritu Santo. Ang atong isgutan ka ron, mao ang pagsaka sa langit ni Kristo, lawas o kalag. Dili lamang kalag, kundili lawas o kalag. Sa pagkatao niya, Ang agil, ningon sa mga magbalantay, lakaw mo dito sa kamalig, lakaw mo dito.